Good morning, folks. A volcano in Guatemala is beginning to erupt more strongly. Now, while this is not up on the RSOE, there are three volcanoes on watch in Costa Rica and the big one in Colombia. The lone quake of concern yesterday was a four-pointer in the Northeast Caribbean. Anything in the fours or higher is large for that region. You might have heard what's up in Egypt, and no, this is not from last year. Mubarak was sentenced to life yesterday, and nobody was happy. They either want him dead or free. It's creating another scene in Tahrir Square. Great article here detailing the dangers to the Great Barrier Reef off the Australian coastline. I think prosecuting for not predicting earthquakes is stupid, but not as stupid as them saying that pressure building can't be measured. Two days after Dutch Sense and about 50 others put out info that Japan was doing that very same thing. The global powers will tell you all day about the resources up north, but have you heard of Rockefeller Mountain in Antarctica? If you read this, do so between the lines. Having a look at the solar wind, the top two panels, speed and density, show minor spikes but nothing major. The past week shows high density, but nothing close to significant space weather. Yet that density has created instability in the magnetic field. The disturbance requisite to bring forth multiple resonance bands is apparently very low. That weak bombardment was enough to briefly break through our defenses. Solar plasma penetrated our system at the red spike there. You can see on Ovation Prime we had charged particles, but it shouldn't have really caused a problem. However, this sets a scary stage for the massive dark corona hole which will be slamming some serious solar wind into Earth in a few days. The active regions on the southern disk have bipolar magnetics and continue to morph around. Additionally, the Earth footprint hopped up near this big active region which has some crazy complexity but tough to actually pick out a dangerous area. Pretty much just looks like my bedroom when I was 7 years old. Today, the moon makes a monthly close approach to Earth, monthly perigee. You see this 21 hours mark that indicates that less than a day later, tomorrow, we have the full moon, and it happens to be a lunar eclipse one day before Venus transits the sun. Hope you can see it. That's the news, folks. Be safe.